Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that almost have had a year long no buy. And today I am here with a throwbacks video. If you didn't know, like December, when it comes to the weather and stuff like that, it is not my favorite of the year. But when it comes to YouTube, I love it. Like I love all the like when people look back at the year that has been, people talk about favorites for the year that has been and everything. I just love that. That is one of my absolute favorite things to watch. I love to see what people have loved for eyeshadow palettes, what they have loved for base products. That is just something that I do really, really love. And apparently now it is December. I don't know how the hell this did happen. I have no idea. So I am today going to talk about the palettes that I had as favorites last year. And if I do still feel the same about them, I will of course leave my video up here where I did talk about that. And picking out the favorite palettes for a year, I think it's so hard, but also so, so fun. And I did watch my video just before I started to film this one and it feels like I still yeah, we get into this. So I think we just get started and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven palettes. So just just let's just stop into this. And I did actually rank them, so I'm going to take it from the bottom row and up to the top. So one, the seventh best, best palette of 2021 was the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. And <laughs> this was a palette that I wasn't like so pleased with at first used. And then I did the two looks one palette. And then I st it started to grow on me. And you might know this, but the way Kaleidos is going right now with their quads and just toning everything down. I do not like that much. This is the latest palette I have from Kaleidos. It must be... And this came out last summer, I think it was, maybe in May 2021. And I bought this and yeah, I wasn't that like thrilled about it. I did love this corner. Um, but yeah, it wasn't like a favorite, but it did grow on me and it has this year as well. I don't know if I have used this that much this year, but it still is a palette that I do really like. I though I need to say this. I hate this. I hate when it's not. I want to open my palette like this and that the lid stays on and not like this. Uh, but yeah, I still do really like this palette. I think it is good, but I do, if I'm going to be honest, I miss the old Kaleidos. You, you know, like the super amazing shimmers. I really miss that. In the place number six is a palette that this is going to be one of my favorite palettes for this year as well. I have been loving this. The first time I used it, I wasn't super impressed. I, I think I had my expectations like super high up and uh, it didn't meet my expectations, but then I used it more and I just started to love it. And it is going to be one of the favorite palettes for this year as well. And it's going to be higher than place number six. And that is the Lewis Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld. And everything about this, like the packaging, the color story, like I love the size of it. I love everything about this. This is such a good palette. The thing that I wasn't like so impressed with the first time I used it was um, it isn't like super pigmented and super like intense shades. But that is now what I love about this because you can do a more toned down look. Okay, I'm not saying this in a bad way, I'm saying this in a good way. You know when you have to build up the shadows instead of the shadows being like full on out there at application. 
that is a thing that I've started to love more than I did before. So yeah, this is a really amazing palette. I love everything about it. I have done some looks. I have used this in some uh, Get Red With Me's and like this black one is really good and I <laughs> do really really like it and I do understand why it was so popular and I still love this so much. Then I have almost only <laughs> collab palettes left. Oops. So in place number five I took the Giant Wolves with Odin's Eye and Annette's Makeup Corner. It looks like this and this is also like I still really love this palette. I love how deep it is and especially like this shimmer, this multi duochrome never asked me what anything is this shade is amazing i did a look with this one and this and this i think i had a collab week and um, this palette is just so so good and this has really made me like more to the blue tones and the shimmers in this palette is just amazing and I really love the formula on this one still and I am so so happy that I decided to buy this. It is such an amazing palette. Uh, I don't know though... Can you hear this? I don't know if I like this but yeah whatever it's just the front of the palette. But yeah. An amazing palette still. <laughs> and then I also talked about the Serenity palette from Annette's Makeup Corner and uh, Menagerie. And now I'm missing two shades. It is a uh, orange shimmer here, and yellow shimmer here. I did uh, my Menagerie palette. Should I fix this? Now she's complete. Um, where was I? Yeah this I still really really like this is really really colorful and really really like in your face but I do really like it I think that the shimmers are really really good and I love that it's an orange shimmer if you have seen any looks that I've done with those orange shimmers I guess you know why I love it it's just an amazing orange shimmer and this is just such a good palette and I've used it a couple of times this year and I still really, really, really love it. It's it's so good. And <laughs> I wish that um, more people had the chance to buy this. I don't, they didn't do as many of these, what I can remember. But I was one of the lucky ones. In third place, it is also a collab palette. And this I... Do I even need to talk about this? Because it doesn't feel like I've changed that much this year, if I'm going to be honest. But it's the freaking, it's a freaking bat with Betty Bean and Shroud. And this palette, I love it. I did use this in my collab week as well. I did use collab palettes for a whole week. I love the look that I did. I really love to match this handbook with this dairy. It's getting so... I love the contrast and I mixed it with, I think, was it zero as well? No, it was it? I don't know, but I have used this a couple of times this year. This is just an amazing palette. I still think that I still stand by it for being a little bit dirty on my hand for some reason. I still stand by it. This is one of my favorite palettes in my collection and this, it feels like the best palettes this year is going to be repeats from last year. But at the same time I haven't bought any new palettes so maybe that is so strange but maybe I can just name this my favorite palettes of 2022 and nobody would have noticed. Because the runner <laughs> for best palette it's side by side by no blood. Now it has actually been some videos I think where I haven't talked about this. This is still one of my favorite palettes in my collection. Maybe my absolute favorite palette in my collection. And I don't know what to say. I do love this palette. I think it's an amazing neutral palette that is not boring. It's fun, it's easy to work with and 
I just love this and I know that I've gotten some of you to buy it which I really do hope that you love it I like I am a little bit scared and a little bit happy once I get comments that you buy something because of me because what if you don't like it then it's my fault that you don't like it I at least feel like that so I hope for you that have bought this because of me I hope that you love it. If you don't, I'm so, so sorry. And if you haven't seen my video from last year where I talked about my favorite palette of 2021, I still think that you can guess which one was my favorite palette. And I don't know if I want to take the story about this or if you should skip it because I talk about it every damn time. It is a collab palette. And it's one of my favorite brands. And uh, I love this palette still. It's the Club Nebula and from uh, Kaleidos and Daniel Nykvist. The palette looks like this. I think it looks... Uh, it's just something about this, okay? <laughs> it's just something about this that makes me love it and... It has some special meanings to me because this helped me through a rough year and I know for you that maybe don't like love makeup that maybe sounds strange but having a palette that you really like and that is really easy to work with if you're having a bad day or a bad year <laughs> that is something that helps you to just play with makeup and have something else to think about and the, this palette was so important for me last year and I do still really really love it. I don't have had a rough year in the same sentence this year as I had last year. Last year was my personal life was total crap. I hate it last year. It was one of the worst years in my life. Um, this year is better. Starting to be better and better. But yeah, I still do really love this palette and I think it's really good and um, if Kaleidos ever would take back a palette I think they would bring this back. And yeah, <laughs> that was all the palettes that I did love last year and that I do love this year as well. I will really try to make a good favorite video this year. I think it's going to be more fun for me to pick out like my base favorites and my blush favorites or maybe not. Like everybody know what I've been loving for blush this year. Um, but it's going to be hard with eyeshadow palette actually because I have really tried to use that m many of my <laughs> eyeshadow palettes and really like get the use of them now when I haven't bought a new. I think I might will do like uh, different categories. Yes, yeah, you hear I haven't planned this at all like nothing i haven't planned anything for this year in december and this is so strange because you when you're seeing this this is the beginning in december and i have actually thought something out maybe i don't know but okay <laughs> i do hope that you liked this video and i hope that you are also looking forward now to this december even if you don't celebrate christmas i don't think that december it really needs to be about Christmas actually. No, it's just a recap month of the whole year. But yeah, I do really hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. I will try to have a lot of videos up in December. I'm filming this in the middle of November, so this is maybe strange. But okay, I am uh, hoping that you liked this video. I hope that I will see you in the next video. And if you're not subscribing, please do. And now I fucked this up. So I'm just going to say goodbye.